guys welcome back to my channel oh, we're back for another video we're back for another update and I mean oh, I'm telling you guys right now I am honestly just taking my time so this video is basically about where we are what's been going on it's not much of an update but at the same time um, what have I been doing and about a show that kind of just you know helped me put so much into perspective so let's get started. So guys, just a quick update. Um, I know last video I was telling you guys that, you know, I'll continue to update you guys. Hopefully, you know, more progression will, will have been made between my videos. But at the same time, honestly, guys, I have just been taking my time. I have just been taking things one day at a time. I We still haven't done the blood work yet. Um, it's just because like so much is going on at the same time. So I'm just trying to, you know, as, as, you know, just take it easy, not force it, not rush it, you know, and just, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. I can't say that, you know, um, finally some of the medications kind of wore off. It took time, like, you know, like, you know, after a while your progesterone shot, you still feel pain in your bum, but you I'm actually feeling a lot lot better you know in terms of like the pain and everything like that I could you know sit down comfortably and I feel like ow if I because one day I kind of bounce myself against something and I wanted to scream because it's still it was still so sensitive but now I'm gonna feel a little more better as everything begins to wear off the wearing off it's 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 bittersweet you know because you know it's all for a cause but then at the same time you know um, it's good because who wants the bum to be you know their butt to be hurting so much all the time so um just like i said i have we haven't really done the blood work or anything like that we are going to before the end of this month i can assure you that i'm really really pushing for it it's just so much is going on at the same time um i did want to say that there is a show that honestly guys check it out if you haven't seen it already it's on facebook i'm actually going to put the link in the description for um for the actual Facebook page that way you guys can see it but the show is called nine months with Courtney Cox and if you guys know, know who Courtney Cox is it is um the girl from friends and she is literally like doing kind of I don't want to say she's literally opening up so much perspective not just for me but I'm sure it could open up put so much in perspective for you guys too you know she created a show where you know it's different um, families and couples around the world that are going through either infertility they're basically their journey to becoming parents and you would think that your journey is hard you would think that you know you're the only one going through it or you're doing things by yourself or you know the way that certain things are panned out for you it's um it's the worst thing in the world but after watching these stories i'm sitting there like wow okay now you need to kind of come back into reality and just say to yourself like you know you're not alone absolutely not there's so much that could be you know going on in in your life at the same time that could you know throw things off and make you feel so discouraged just so many things that kind of just put you you know that make you feel like something is wrong you know that makes you feel like you know this journey is the worst thing in the world like i said you know if we all was to put our journeys and our situation in a pot trust me and i say this we will probably pull our own situation back out and for ourselves because every like i said everybody's journey is unique to them and everything that everybody's going through it is you know for a reason you know we're never put through things more than we can handle you know so the stories that i have seen in this show it's two seasons each episode is 15 minutes long and it is about so many different couples and the challenges that they face through infertility through their journey and through pregnancy, getting up to, you know, just the moment of birth and actually seeing your child and having your child in your arms, you know, like I connected with a couple of the, you know, a couple of the families and I'm just like, wow, like, you know, it opened up my mind, like, wow, you're going through that. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I should look into something like this and see, maybe this is something that, 
you know, what's going on with me, you know, and you kind of just start to connect with these women in different ways, you know, and it's just like, wow, like, I'm telling you guys, you guys should watch it. Season one, you get one set of families, and season two, you get another, and some of them are continuation. I've actually seen a couple on there um, that I've actually seen on YouTube. There, you know, a couple of their videos on YouTube, and I was just like, wow, like she's on that show, and it's just, it's, it's so mind blowing, you know. And you just sit there and tune me in, and I cannot wait for another season to come out, you know. I mean, you're talking about different challenges, you know, between like cancer, between, you know, um, you know, different type of disorders, different type of complications, different types of, you know, diseases, like you know, and it just makes you think like this is what this is what we got to go through you know just to become parents and it's it's crazy to me but i'm telling you guys you know this is a short and sweet video that i'm doing for you guys today telling you guys check it out i'm telling you just something for you guys to watch and take it take it all in take it all in if you haven't seen it already check it out like i said i'm gonna drop the link in the description take it all in because you will be like wow really like i didn't even know that i didn't even know that was possible i didn't even know that you know that you can or you can and that you know and you sit there and like i said you you think back on your journey you think back on what you're going through and you're sitting there and you're like wow this is really really you know this is so interesting this is you know i'm not alone this is really like something that i need to kind of just take in stride and you know understand that it's gonna happen because you see it all you see it happening for all of them for all of them it's happening it's happening for all of them you know and it's just like wow it's amazing and literally this this show and just watching the show this show was captured on everybody's phones everybody's phone and put together everybody had a phone in front of them and of course i know like just based off the arts and knowing arts like how you know you having a phone in front of you but the person you talk to having a phone in front of them it about the, the way that they collaborated the video because even though you're having the same conversation you hear it in the background you hear it's the different angles and the different views of the um of the episodes and of the the show in general and you like you seeing the facial expressions of the person that you're speaking to you know and you're not just seeing one person talking the whole time and then another person you know um listening you literally like like regular tv like you see in the angles and difference but i mean it is absolutely i just i just love it i love the show um i've actually put a couple of my friends onto the show as well i say guys check this show out Par friends that i know that been through it that pregnancy journey was unexpected that you know they didn't think that this would happen but it happened and you know and i thought that oh my gosh like just check this show out you wouldn't even believe half the things that a lot of us women have to go through, you know, and it's just like, wow. I'm Guys, I keep saying wow because this show will really sit there and be like, open up your eyes. It's it's honestly something. Like I said, if you haven't seen it before, check it out. It is called Nine Months with Courtney Cox. You can literally just type it in in the Facebook search bar. But I also dropped the link for you for the page directly in the description so that way that you guys can just check it out directly. So, but that's my update for this so far that's my update for um my infertility my, my fertility journey because like i said guys right now we're just taking it one day at a time and i'll keep updating you guys things will start of course to eventually pick up and rile up and hopefully you know i get to start you know the process again and you know keep you guys in the loop with that right now taking it one day at a time honestly it's just giving yourself time to heal i'm staying positive but i'm giving myself time some time to heal it's not easy you know it was to the point where i actually started going back and eating eating regular like how i was eating before like i'm trying not to go back to eat bad um, I actually stopped taking my prenatals, which I would need to start back taking because they say, you know, you shouldn't stop taking it. But it, it you know, you emotionally just feel like, oh my God, I just need to just kind of stop and take a moment to myself and just really like, just, just do me a little bit for a while, you know, just feel better about this and then just go again. Because there was one girl in one of the episodes that just said, you keep throwing yourself into this and you just keep feeling like you're throwing yourself into a ring of fire, like into just a huge load of disappointment. And it's just over and over and over again. And, you know, sometimes you ask yourself, like, when is it going to be enough? When is it going to stop? You know, so that's why, you know, you have to kind of just give yourself that moment to say, okay, let me take this moment. Let me take this time to myself and figure this out. And then we'll go from there. You know, so we're taking it one day at a time. My husband and I are just really and truly 
taking it slow um but i can guarantee you we are i'm really pushing to do this blood work before the end of august so that way you know um we could get the results probably gonna get it sometime in september the doctor did say three weeks i could have been did it since you know since this, all of this happened beginning of july and i could have got my results right now but i'm taking my time i'm taking my time i haven't even and i actually i actually have to call my doctor or like my insurance um the the billing person for my fertility clinic and um have her run my insurance another authorization for my insurance because my insurance had to be authorized in order for me to do a transfer again and usually the authorization takes three months so um it's, it expires it gives you a three months time span time limit so um you know i'm gonna do it probably the beginning of september because i'll have september I'll have at least October, November, December, like at least by the beginning of December to do it. It gives myself some time to even, you know, process and see how I'm going to do it. Um, or sometime in this, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Like I said, I'm just taking it one day at a time. It's, it's rough. It's rough. But thank you guys for always sticking by me. Um, you know, like I said, I have little videos and stuff like that in between. Um, but of course, as this journey starts to pick up again, of course, I'll be pursing more fertility videos but i do promise you guys more updates and of course yes check out my other videos you know if, if there's anything that you guys would like to see any tips anything please let me know and of course i'm open to listen to what you guys say thank you guys so much for watching and i love you guys you know you guys are the best you guys are awesome thank you for following this journey with me bye